So hi everyone, this is Jazz again from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a walkthrough for all of the normal levels in the indie title Felix the Reaper. There are a bunch of hardcore levels also, we're going to investigate into doing a video of how to complete those too. But for this video we will cover only the normal levels in the main campaign. Now this game is actually quite tricky, um, so a guide will help you out here, uh, but as always I recommend that you give it a shot on your own. There are a series of requirements that you need to hit for each level as well, so just following the standard tips and tricks that the game gives you is not going to give you necessarily the answer to get the, the best score on each level. You're awarded three skulls for getting a good run on the level, and a good run consists of minimal sun turns, minimal picking up and putting down of certain items, not getting caught in the sunlight, stepping on so many tiles and completing the level within a certain time frame. Now I'll be showing you how to do this throughout the level. So the first level up is the tutorial level. Uh, this is very self-explanatory. There are no specific requirements for completing this so I will let you just listen and follow what happens on the screen and I'll jump back in when it actually comes to the levels themselves. Now let's see what happens when time unfreezes here. Very well done, I must admit. That dancing, cuddly Felix, and... Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, no, no, this is bad. Can you hear me from the televator, Felix? I guess you can. Get back to the office immediately and I'll have the right, um, let's say, uh, another briefing waiting for you. Okay, so now you've completed the first level uh, and you've killed the wrong victim, classic, um, you'll be straight into the main level. So the first thing you're going to, so the objective of this level is actually to get the moose onto that red circle. First thing you want to do is you want to step forward and you want to rotate the sun and then you want to walk down and stand in front of the tree to your right. Once you're in front of that tree, rotate the uh, sun again. You want to grab the moose from the end, walk down, and then you walk back to the tree just here, to this square in particular. Rotate the sun again, 
make your way across so that you're in line with the red circle on the floor which is the main objective rotate the sun and then you want to place the moose on the circle now you'll see at the end of this level the three skull rating that I was talking about so it will pop up on the screen and give you a rough idea of um, what you're expected to do for each level and everything went according to plans and regulations just lovely this makes an instructor proud it really does I believe he'll be fine on his own now. I will only be checking in every so often. Okay, so we're now on to the next level and you'll be introduced to a new mechanic, which is a switch, and then this horse and cart thing which is in your way. So flick the switch first of all to move it forward. Line yourself up with the tree in the background and then you want to rotate the sun. And you want to pick up the moose head that is on the floor here from the previous level where you killed that moose. Backtrack so you're in line with the switch again. You want to rotate the sun once more and then you want to flip the lever on the end to move the cart back to its original position. Once you've done that step back one square, line up the sun with the house in the distance and then you want to hang up the moose head on the wall just here by pressing X or square. Okay, so now we're on to the next level, uh, and in this level, you need to move the most important liquid of all time, beer. Um, so from the start of this level, first thing you want to do is you want to hit the switch. Once you've hit the switch, make your way over to the guy, just sat here in the corner, and then you want to rotate the sun so you can cross over the bridge and line yourself up with the haystack to your left. Spin the sun again, and then you want to pick up the haystack that is on your left. Okay, now it will tell you how to do this preview thing. Now be very careful here because this can actually put you over your time limit. The moment you get the option to back out, do so. Once you've got your hay, jump back and then you want to cross back over the bridge again. Spin the sun and then you want to flip the switch one more time. And then you want to backtrack across the bridge again, spinning the sun in the process uh, and come back to the other side. Rotate the sun one more time and then you will place the haystack next to the uh, the dead horse thing and then you want to roll over the work make your way over to the barrel and push X on it to pick it up backtrack so you're in front of the tree rotate the Sun one more time and then cross over and place the uh, the bit so rotate the Sun again and place the bit in the holder just here and that will finish the level for you So we're now on to the level number five and the objective of this one is to fill the barrel. So as soon as you spawn in, you want to make your way down to the end. You'll see a new mechanic here, which is a button, but don't stand on it this time. Spin the light and pick up the stones from the end and make your way back to the button and drop the stones on top of it, causing the horse and cart to move forward. Rotate the sun one more time and walk back so you're in line with the horse and cart. Rotate the sun again and pick up the haystack. Backtrack and drop the hay to your right. Rotate the sun and you want to pick up the, the stones again. Place the stones to your right. Head across and pick up the hay. And then when you place the hay right by the trees just over here in the corner. Rotate the, one more, the sun one more time. Pick up the second hay bale. And then you want to backtrack and stand right by the horse. Place your hay down. Pick up the second bale of hay. Rotate the sun and then you want to make your way down to the switch and drop the hay on the switch. Pick up the stones that you put down earlier. Make your way across to the hay bale and stand beside it. Rotate the sun and then you want to place these stones in the barrel at the end. Okay, and so on to the final level of this chapter, and I apologise my achievements don't pop as I'm playing through on this video because I solved the puzzles beforehand, I apologise. First of all, pick up the barrel, off of the back of the cart, make your way down to the tree, and then you want to rotate the sun and you want to place the barrel on the switch to your left. This will move the horse out the way, stand in front of the tree, rotate the sun one more time and you want to grab the hail bale that is at the end. 
Once you've that one, put it to your right, backtrack to the barrel, rotate the sun and you want to pick up the barrel. But this time around what's happening gonna happen is the horse is gonna crash into the hay bale and not go all the way forward. Rotate the sun and head back towards the horse. Rotate the sun one more time and then you want to stand next to the horse's carriage. Rotate the sun again and you want to place the barrel on the end just here to finish the level and complete the first chapter of the game. Okay, so let's make our way into the first level of chapter two. Straight away, off the bat, rotate the sun, and you want to grab the box, uh, the barrel that's on top of the box. Once you've picked that one up, place it down straight behind you on the ground. Cross over to the other side, pick up the barrel again, and place it behind you yet again. Rotate the sun, and then you can make your way around to pick up the box, and then head back and stand next to the barrel. Rotate the sun one more time. Put the crate next to the barrel. Pick up the barrel, go around to the other side of the crate and place it down behind you. Pick up the crate, place it on top of the barrel, creating a longer path across. Walk to the end of the darkness, spin the light one more time, hit the switch and this will pull the cart backwards, completing the level. Uh, for the second level in chapter 2, straight away off the bat, pick up the barrel that is on the right hand post box and you want to place that one to your right while standing in front of the other post box. Make your way around and pick up the crates. Stand on the square next to the barrel and place the crate to your left. Pick up the barrel, place it on top of the post box, rotate the sun and make your way down to the section next to this red circle here on the floor. Spin the sun one more time, pick up the barrel, and then you're going to backtrack, so stand back next to the red circle, spin the sun again, and you want to make your way across to the other side, placing the barrel on top of the other post box that is present. Once you've done that, pick up the other barrel off the top of the other post box, make your way around to the other side of the crate, spin the sun, and then you're going to place the, crate at the, very, uh, the barrel at the very end of the darkness, pick up the crate, Place the crate to the left of that barrel, spin the sun and you'll be able to pick up the megaphone from the other end. Backtrack a little and place the microphone on top of the crate. Spin the sun and then pick up the barrel. Place the barrel on the only sun covered square to the left hand side. Pick up your megaphone, spin your sun again and place your megaphone down just at the bottom here where the light is. Make your way around to the barrel, pick it up and put it on top of the post box and then pick up the megaphone and place it on the red circle. So now for the level, Oil Road. As soon as you start off in this one, make your way down to next to the question mark just here on this rock. Rotate the sun and pick up the barrel from the far right. Once you've done that, backtrack next to the question mark stone thing. Rotate the sun one more time and stand at the end of the bollards just here. Rotate the sun again and then you'll make your way just around to the other side a little bit here and then drop your barrel to the left. Make your way over and pick up the tub of oil, place the tub of oil to the right corner just here, pick up the barrel again to the left, rotate your sun, put the barrel down to your right, pick up the tub of oil and stand next to the barrier, rotate the sun and you want to place the tub of oil just diagonally to the left of the question mark. Backtrack over to the previous barrel and you want to pick this one up. Once you've picked that one up, return again, rotating the sun in the process and you want to place the barrel right down at the very end just here pick up the tub of oil stand next to the other barrel place the tub of oil down rotate the sun pick up the other barrel and place it at the very end just here backtrack and get your oil 
and make your way over to the post box and place the oil on top of the post box. Stand in front of the post box and rotate the sun. Grab the second oil can. Backtrack to the oil. Rotate the sun one more time. And then from here, place the can, the second can behind the first can. Pick up the oil. And then you want to put the oil down just next to the other cans. Rotate the sun, pick up the can in front, place it to the left. Grind against the can for a little bit, rotate the sun, pick up the oil. Put the oil down just by the other trash can, rotate the sun one more time, pick up the barrel to your left, put it down on top to create a uh, longer shadow and put the oil at the end just on the red circle. Okay, so on to the final level of this chapter, yeah dog. Now this is quite a tricky one, it goes quite quickly. So rotate the sun as soon as you're in. Step forward two squares, rotate the sun again and pick up the barrel. Step back and you want to head back to the first area where you came from, turning the sun in the process. Turn the sun one more time and place the barrel at the very end of the dark area just here. Spin the light, start walking towards the dog, spin the light again, pick the dog up. Backtrack one square, spin the light, stand next to the barrel, turn the light again and you want to place the dog left of just where you started. Backtrack and grab your barrel and you want to place that just diagonally of the dog just here. Pick up the crate off of the top, stand in front of the dog, rotate the sun and you want to place the crate in the corner just along this side here. Once you've done that rotate your sun one more time, pick up the barrel, place it on top of the crate and then you want to pick up the dog, step to the right once, put the dog down on the floor. Rotate the sun and stand in front of the trash can. Rotate the sun one more time and go to the other trash can. Rotate the sun again and pick up the oil can to your right. Back to the trash can. Rotate the sun again. Back to the other trash can and rotate the sun again. And head over to the dog and swap the can for the dog. Head back to the trash can. Rotate the sun. Stand by the other trash can. Rotate the sun again and place the dog on the circle just here, completing the last level of this chapter and begging you the achievement for completing chapter 2. Okay and now for chapter 3, this is the first level in this chapter. Start off by turning the sun and you want to backtrack and just grab this barrel here. And then you're going to be introduced to your mechanic. You can jump through these holes and you'll pop out in different locations. Pick up the chest on the other side and place it to your left. Jump back through the hole. It'll pop out again on the other side. Now you want to place the barrel on top of the tree stump, just here. Rotate your sun and then you can head across and pick up the chest that you were just using earlier. Place the chest just next to the, the barrel next to the hole. And then you pick the barrel up and you want to place the chest, uh, barrel on top of the chest. Make your way over and you want to pick up a log from by this house door just here. And you want to place the log on the fire. Once you've done that, Take the barrel off the top again, place it just back a little bit from the chest, pick up the chest and place that on top of the barrel. Pick up the flaming log, stand in front of the chest and the barrel, spin the sun and then you want to place the log into the barrel here to complete the level. Okay, so on to the next level. So at the very start of this level, the first thing you want to do is you want to step to the right so you're in line with the dead tree in the background. And then you want to rotate the sun and head across and pick up the barrel. Once you've picked up the barrel, rotate the sun one more time and then you want to head over to the left just here. Rotate the sun again and place the barrel on the back of the horse cart. And then you want to jump through the hole just in the ground here. When you pop out from the other side, you want to pick up the barrel off of the top. You want to step back one square and you want to put the barrel down up here. You want to go back through the hole. Once you've gone through the hole, pick up the chest. And place the chest on top of the cart. Jump into the wormhole one more time. You want to pick up the barrel. Once you've hold of the barrel, drop it down on the switch in the back just here. That will move the cart forward. Jump into the wormhole one more time. Head backwards. 
rotate the sun and then you want to pick up the grill just off the floor here. Step back, rotate the sun again and then you're going to do a little bit of backtracking until you reach the fire. Once you've hit the fire, drop the grill on top of it and this will complete the level. Okay, and on to the next level. This is level 13. So start off by walking over to the dog that's on the other side of the fence. Pick him up. And you want to take him across to the other side. And you want to put him down to your right next to the chest. Pick up the chest. Swap places with the dog. Put the dog on top of the chest. You don't have to do it in that order in specific. Jump down the hole. Pick up the barrel. Place the barrel to your left. Make your way around to the other side. When you're on the other side, pick up the barrel again and then you'll place it to your left. And you want to pick up the hay. You place the hay on top of the barrel, rotate the sun, and then make your way back to the wormhole in the floor. Rotate the sun again, jump through the hole. You want to grab the dog. Spin the sun around again. Place the dog diagonally to the chest. Pick up the chest off the floor. Swap the dog and the chest, place the dog on top of the chest, make your way across to the other side, rotate the sun, pick up the hay, step back one square, spin the sun again, and then you want to swap the hay for the dog. Make your way back to the tree stump, place the dog on top of the tree stump, spin the sun, pick up the barrel, and swap the barrel for the dog, and then place the dog onto the circle, just at the end here. Okay, so now, now on to level 4 of this chapter, Roast Leg. You'll start off straight away by this house. Make your way down to this hay just here. And then spin the sun. Pick up the hay. And then you want to make your way across to the bridge just here in line with this big red mushroom. Turn the sun and you want to place the hay on top of the tree stump. Once you've done that, backtrack to the mushroom. Spin the sun again and go to the wormhole thing on the other side. When you pop out on the other side, spin the sun, and you want to cross over and pick up the stone that's just over here. Once you have that stone, you want to place that stone onto the switch to the left by the wormhole. Jump back through the wormhole. When you're on the other side, you want to backtrack across to the mushroom, so rotate the sun, walk over to the mushroom. When you're back here, rotate the sun again, and you want to pick up the original haystack. Head back to the mushroom and turn the sun. Make your way around to the other side by the wormhole. Turn the sun around and you want to place the hay on top of the first horse's carriage. Go around the back, rotate the sun and step around to the other side. Rotate the sun again and pick up the stone from the end. Place the stone on the other switch. Once you've done that, walk down to the tree at the very far end. Rotate the sun and you want to grab the ham that is at the very end. Once you've done that, you want to backtrack, spin the sun, head back across the bridge. Pick up the stone, put the ham down, swap the ham for the stone, place the ham on the back of the horse's carriage. Pick up the stone again and put it back down on the switch. Rotate your sun, go around the other side and you want to pick up the hay. Rotate the sun one more time, and then you're going to backtrack to the mushroom, so walk all the way to the end just here. Rotate the sun, head round to the mushroom. When you're at the mushroom, rotate the sun, and you want to place the hay on top of the tree stump. Come back to the mushroom, spin the sun, head through the wormhole. When you're on the other side, rotate the sun, pick up the ham and then you want to place the ham on the grill just behind you to finish the level. Okay, so now for the final level of this chapter, which will also bag you another achievement for completing chapter three. You start off and the first thing you want to do is you want to jump straight down the hole. 
You'll pop out on the other side, you want to jump into the red hole and it'll take you out into the far distance over here. When you're over there, pick up the barrel. Once you've got the barrel, place it to the stone on the left over here. Pick up the chest that is just by that barrel and then you want to place that on top of that barrel. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. Jump back down the hole and then you want to jump back down. So you step forward by one place, spin the sun, pick up the barrel and you want to place the barrel onto the bridge. Once you've done that, backtrack to the red circle, rotate the sun and then jump through the blue circle. When you're on the other side, pick up the barrel that is just next to you. Make your way down towards the end and you want to place the barrel in line with the bridge, as far away from the bridge as possible. Rotate the sun, make your way down to the other barrel and pick it up. And you want to place that barrel to the far left of, and in the corner just over here. Once you've done that, pick up the other barrel and place that to the diagonally to the other one. And you want to pick up the ham that is in the corner on the grill just over here. Once you've done that, backtrack to the barrel that is the furthest away from you and you'll place the ham on top of it. Pick up the barrel on the left and place it in line with the bridge again. Once you've done that, you want to pick up the ham. Instead of the ham, you actually want the barrel and place the barrel on top of the other barrel. Backtrack and grab your ham, walk into line with the, the bridge and then you want to place the ham on the well just over here. So walk all the way down the end, this is a little bit fiddly for me for some reason, and then hang the ham up on the well to complete this chapter. Okay, so on to chapter four. There's out of five total chapters altogether. Start off by picking up the chest that is in front of you, and you'll place that into the light as far away as possible. Backtrack and hit the switch. This will lower the flag in the corner, and go stand next to the chest that you just put down. Spin the light, pick up the barrel, step back one square, spin the light again, and then you're gonna flip the switch a second time, raising the flag up into the air. Head over to the left just here and drop the barrel down. Pick up the chest and you want to place the chest on top of the barrel. Walk around to the other side. Spin the sun and you want to go down and pick up the rock that's just at the bottom here. Once you have that rock, place it to the left just next to this hole. Spin the sun. You want to pick up the chest off of the top. Spin the sun one more time and place the chest in the corner. Backtrack one step, spin the sun, pick up the barrel. Backtrack one step, spin the sun, and place the barrel on top of the chest. Once you've done that, pick up the stone, cross over to the other side as far as you can, spin the sun one more time, and then you want to swap the hay for the stone. Backtrack as far as you can, and then you'll place the hay just at the, in the light on the edge of the hole. Pick up the stone, walk to the end, You'll need to spin the light one last time and throw the stone down into the well. Okay, for the next level, pad cross. Start off straight away by picking up the chest that is next to you and place it to your left. Spin the sun and walk around to the far right as far as you can possibly go. Spin the sun one more time and you want to make your way all the way over to the barrel that is in the distance here. Once you have done that, you want to walk all the way around to stand next to the flagpole. So walk all the way around to the other side. Once you're there, spin the sun and then you want to hit the switch to lower the flag. Step back one square, spin your sun again. And then you want to place the barrel down by this wall into the light as far away as possible as you can. Once you have done that, Backtrack to the flag. Once you're at the flag, spin the sun one more time and hit the switch again. Step back one square, spin the sun again, and then you want to head back over to your by this wall just here. Once you're in front of this wall, spin the sun a sec another time. Stand next to your barrel, spin the sun again, pick your barrel up, and make your way two squares down. Place the barrel to your left and you'll be able to hit the other switch. Once you've hit that switch, pick up your barrel and you want to place it to the left of the wall again. 
once you've put it down spin your sun and then you backtrack to this corner just here specifically spin the sun again go stand in front of the flag spin the sun another time and then you're gonna hit the switch you're gonna get so bored of me spinning the sun step back one square turn the sun head over to your barrel and pick it up and you want to place this barrel very far away back where you found it in the beginning so take the barrel all the way back uh, and drop it by this cross in the wall and then you want to backtrack as far as possible to the left before you step out of the shadow once you're down at this end spin pick up the crate and then you want to make your way as far right as possible spin the sun again and then you're going to place the crate on top of the barrel at the very far back this will finish this level for you Now to give you a heads up, the next level is actually very fiddly. There's a very large wall that makes viewing difficult. This took me a couple of runs, so expect this one to be tricky. Okay, so this giant wall will get in your way a lot. So the first thing you want to do is you want to jump down the hole. So my best advice is keep moving your camera. Step to the left two squares, spin your light, and then you want to hit the switch on the end. You want to backtrack, and then you want to jump back down the hole again. Once you've done that, spin your camera. You want to go stand next to the dead horse. Spin the light and you want to grab the hay bale off of that horse and you want to place it onto the carriage. Backtrack, stand in front of the horse again, turn the light one more time and then you want to jump down into the pipe. You can see how fiddly the wall is already. Two steps to the left, spin the sun, dance your way over to the next switch. This will allow you to cross over to the switch on the other side. Hit the switch and then you want to backtrack to the other side. Spin the sun and then you want to jump down into the blue pipe. When you've popped out of the other side, you can actually make your way into this gate. Turn the sun, pick up the hay bale just behind the gate, stand back one square, turn your sun again and go back through the pipe one more time. Once you've gone through here, step to the left twice, spin the sun and make your way back to the far switch on the left. Hit the switch and then you want to hit the first switch again. Once you've done that, make your way as far down as possible, spin the sun, and then go through the blue pipe. Once you've done that, you'll pick up the old hay bale you had from earlier and place it to the left just inside the gate here. Stand in front of the horse, turn the sun, pick up the hay off the top of the, the cart. Stand in front of the horse again and spin the sun one more time. Go to the far right as possible. Place the hay bale to your left, turn the sun, and then you want to stand behind the gate. When you're behind the gate, spin the sun, make your way as far left as possible, turn the sun one more time and you want to grab the bag of bird seeds just here. Head to the far right, turn the sun, head over to the gate. Once you're at the gate, turn the sun one more time and you want to go stand next to the hay bale that is just at the back. Put your bird seed down to the left, pick up the hay bale, rotate the sun before you pick that up as well. Place the hay bale just to the left uh, in front of the bird seed, pick up the bird seeds Stand next to the horse, rotate the sun, and you want to give the bird seeds to the nun. Now, apologies, it's very quick. The best advice I can give you for this level is keep moving the camera. It is awkward. Now on to the next level called Close the Gate. So now we are on level four of chapter four. You start this one off by picking up the barrel that is in the far corner just here. This one's less fiddly than the last and you want to place the barrel far down as possible on the right hand side. Pick up the goat with a hole in it. I think there's a pun here but I'm not going to say anything. Head down to the barrel. Turn your sun and then place your goat just to the diagonally to the left of the barrel. Spin the sun. Pick up the barrel and you want to place the barrel next to the front door just here. So step down one square, rotate the sun, put it in the gap. Rotate your sun back again. Pick up the goat, place the goat on the stepping stone, walk around to the other side of the goat, pick it up, and then place it onto the red circle to finish this level. Okay, so now onto the final level for this chapter. As soon as you spawn in, the first thing you want to do is grab the barrel in the distance. So make your way over to the chest and stand right of it. Spin the sun. 
Stand next to the house, you want to spin the sun again, pick up the barrel, and then you want to backtrack to the house and put the barrel on top of the carriage. Head back two squares, spin the sun, pick up the chest, step forward one square, rotate the sun, and you want to place that chest onto the switch to move the horse and carriage forward. Once it's forward, you can take the barrel off of the back of the carriage. Once you have that, you then need to step back one square, rotate the sun, and go stand on the left-hand side of the house. Rotate the sun one more time, make sure you stand next to the column on your right. Spin the sun one more time and you want to place the barrel in line with the small bridge just behind this pillar here. You can't see it quite well, I apologize. Backtrack, spin the sun, go back to the house. Rotate the sun one more time, cross over to the pillar. Once you're in line with the pillar, spin the sun, pick up the chest that is at the far end here. This will move the horse back again and it will allow you to place the chest diagonally to the right of the barrel. So wait all your way down to the end, drop the barrel down, throw the chest down, pick up the barrel, place the barrel to the left of the chest, pick up the chest, place the chest to the, diagonally to the left of the barrel, and this will allow you to make your way over to the switch. When you hit that switch, you will finish chapter four and get the achievements for completing this level. Okay, so for the final chapter of the game, this is actually a short chapter as well, but probably the most trickiest. First level, start off by picking up the barrel behind you and place it on the cracked square just there. Spin the sun, pick up the barrel again. Place the barrel to the goat diagonally to the left. Spin the sun, pick up your goat. Walk to the next to the car and stand by the door and place the goat down behind you. Pick up the barrel in front of the car, stand back by the car door again. Spin the sun. Place the barrel diagonally to the next to the goat. Pick your goat up and place the goat on top of the barrel on the far left. Pick up the barrel to your right and place that barrel on the switch at the bottom. That will move the car backwards. Pick up your goat, but this time swap it for the barrel. And you want to place the barrel to the left of the goat. Once you've done that, pick up the barrel in the distance. And you'll place the barrel diagonally to the left of the goat again. Make your way around to the other side and pick up the barrel that is on the far left and you want to place it on the tile to your left. Spin the sun. Pick up the goat and you want to place the goat on top of the barrel just to get it out of the way for now. Pick up the other barrel and stand in line with the goat barrel. Spin the sun. Place the barrel to the left. Pick up your goat and you want to put the goat in front of the dog and watch the chaos unfold. Okay, the second level of chapter 5. As soon as you spawn in, first thing you want to do is you want to pick up the barrel. You want to drop it down on top of the post box and make your way down as far as you possibly can. Turn the sun and you want to jump through the wormhole. On the other side, step to the left once. Spin the sun and then you want to hit the switch that is just to your right. And you want to pick up the barrel that is in the far corner just over here. And place it one square to the left behind you. Step in front of that barrel, spin the sun and pick up the barrel on your right again. Make your way across to the post box, turn the sun one more time, and then you want to place the... Make your way all the way down to the end, sorry, and place the barrel at the very end just here, turning the sun in the process. You want to pick up the pipe that is just on the floor here, and you'll place the pipe up here just to the right. Pick up the barrel one more time, stand diagonally to the left of the wire, spin the sun. Place the barrel to the right in the corner just over here. Backtrack and you want to pick up the pipe, swap the pipe for the barrel, stand next to the post box and turn the sun and put the barrel in the very far corner here by the basketball hoop thingy. Backtrack, grab your pipe, make your way all the way down to the other barrel, turn the sun one more time and you want to place the wire or pipe onto the switch just here. This will raise a flag in the corner. Head back to the other barrel, spin the sun, pick it up. Make your way across to the other barrel, turn the sun one more time, and then you want to place the barrel to the left next to the wormhole thingy. 
Pick up the other barrel. Head back to the barrel, place it to your right. Pick up the barrel down below. Step to the right once. Put the barrel down to your left. Turn the sun and then you want to jump through the portal. Step to the left. Turn the sun. Pick up the wire. And place the wire in the light just to your left. And then head back to the wormhole. Turn the sun. Jump through the wormhole. Awkwardly, apparently. Once you're on the other side, pick up the barrel that is furthest away from you and place it to your far right. Pick up the barrel behind you and place that diagonally to the right of the other barrel. This will allow you to pick up the wire in the corner. Pick that one up. Drop that down at the bottom just here, where I do. Pick up the barrel that is above you. Put it down behind you. Step to the right, pick up the other barrel and spin the sun. Pick up the wire and then make your way down. Rotate the sun and then you want to place the wire on the open manhole cover. Okay, so we're on to the next level. Nearly getting close to the end now. Start off by making your way over to the corner and you want to jump down the wormhole. First of all, once you're on the other side, you need to spin the sun. Go stand by the stone with a question mark on it. Head over and pick up everybody's favourite dog. Once you've got your dog, put it on the switch at the very far corner at the back. And then you want to jump back through the wormhole. Once you've done this, you want to hit the first switch that is on the inside. And then you want to hit the second switch also. This will move the cart out of the way. Once the cart's moved out of your way, you want to jump back through the hole in the floor. Once you've done that, you want to stand just to the left over here, so near to the cart. Rotate the sun, go stand next to the trash cans. Rotate the sun one more time and you want to pick up the goat that is on the other side. Make your way back to the trash cans once you've got the holy goat. Spin it. And then you want to stand just kind of behind these rocks here. Spin the sun one more time and then jump through the wormhole again. And this time you want to hit the left switch to bring the cart back to you again. Once you've done that, pick up the goat. Backtrack to the switch on the far left again and hit that one for the third time. This will move the card out of the way yet again. Head down to the pillar that is just here and you want to put the goat down in front of that pillar. Pick up the dog, place the dog to the left of the goat, turn the sun, Pick up the goat, stand next to the dog, rotate the sun, and put the goat onto the red circle to watch the chaos again unfold. Okay, so onto the last level, and as far as we're aware, there are no timers or anything like that associated with this level, so you can take it a little bit slower. Start off by picking up the barrel in the far left hand corner, and you replace it to the wall on the right here, just in front of it. Turn the sun, pick up that barrel again, and then you want to step down one square and put it behind you. Turn the sun one more time and pick up the other barrel that is to your right. Place that barrel to the left of the other barrel. Turn the sun, pick up the first barrel you had, place it down into the sun. Pick up the barrel on the left and stand next to this one. Rotate the sun and you want to place the barrel down between the two walls over here. Go back and grab the other barrel. And then you want to place the barrel one square to the left of the other one, one square to the right of the switch. Once you've done that, pick up the, the other barrel and you want to place it by the manhole cover just here. Pick up the other one just behind you and put it on the other side. Stand on the crack square, rotate the sun, stand on the manhole cover, rotate the sun and pick up the third barrel. Backtrack to the manhole cover, turn the sun one more time, go to the cracked slate just over here in line with the switch. Rotate the sun and then you want to hit the switch to move the car to the other side. Place the barrel to the one square to the right of the switch. Place the second barrel into the sunlight. Pick up the third barrel and place it all the way over into the far corner by the wall like you did for the very first barrel. Now you want to backtrack and get the barrel that is on the far left. 
Once you have that one, you want to place that just diagonally to the left of the other barrel. And then you want to backtrack and get the other barrel that you have left behind. Place that one on top of the barrel on the right, just to give yourself some space. Pick up the lone barrel. Turn the sun. And then you want to place that barrel out in the sun at the bottom on the right hand side. Take the barrel off of the top. Place it diagonally to the left of the bottom barrel. Pick up the top barrel, step back one square and then place it behind you. Rotate the sun. Once you've done that, pick up the bottom barrel and then you want to place that in front of the trash cans just here. Pick up the left barrel and you want to place that in line with the barrel next to the trash cans. Stand next to the top barrel, rotate the sun, pick up that barrel and then you want to place that into the sunlight. And this will finish this section. Walk down to the very far away barrel, place that barrel next to the trash cans that have knocked over at the bottom here. Pick up the far left barrel and then you're going to turn around and put it next to the car, diagonally to the right. Pick up that second barrel, backtrack to the first barrel and then place it on the square above you. Once you've done that, you want to stand in front, sorry, rotate the sun and you want to stand in front of the second, sorry, the far left barrel. Pick this one up, rotate the sun, just so you don't get caught in it. Go back and stand next to the other barrels, place that one to your left, rotate the sun one more time, pick up the barrel on your right and place that on the back of the car. Once you've done this, pick up the barrel to your right and you want to put that barrel next to the man cover, hole cover that is open. Once you've done that, turn the sun, pick up the barrel again and place it on top of the post box. Once you've done this, pick up the old lady, the nun, and then you want to place her on the red spot. And this will finish all of the normal levels in the main campaign. And you get to listen to a far more pleasant English voice than my own. You get to listen to Sir Patrick Stewart as he ends the game. But this will bag you the two achievements for completing all of the main campaign levels. Um, and I think, yeah, you get two in total. So one for the main campaign and one for chapter five. I've been Jessica from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Happy hunting!